Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be previewing this coming Thursday's meeting here from Fanny Bay, which of course will be Anzac Day, the 25th of April. Always one of the highlight fixtures on the Top End calendar, this year's Anzac Day meeting has attracted 35 acceptors in five races. The feature, the Anzac Day Handicap, only has the five runners, but there are a number of chances among them. The first on the card is the Class 2 event, it's over 1,300 metres, it's time to jump at 3.20, while the last, the 0 to 64 mile, is time to go at 5.30 p.m. In the first, the two up Trobus Class 2 Handicap, my numbers are 1, 2 and 7. Going here with number one, Dizama from the Inform Gary Clark Stable. Gary uh, won three races at our last meeting here just uh, under a week ago. And Jared Todd uh, similarly was in the saddle for all three of those. So they're in good form, the boys. And Dizama uh, similarly in good form. Only the one start in Darwin to date. And that was a win on the 9th of February over this trip uh, in 0 to 58 grade. This is a benchmark, uh, this is a class two rather. So similar grade and uh, beat Queen in the North on that occasion by half a length. I see no reason why it can't go back to back. Number one, Dizama. To beat number two, Witten from the stable of Phil Cole and Emma Lyons in the saddle. Second uh, last time out behind the very impressive spaceship. That was two meetings ago on the 12th of April. That was over 1,200, up to the 1,300 here. Shouldn't worry Witten and uh, should uh, be in the money you would think. And in for third, number seven, meant for Mars from the Chris Pollard stable. Good to see Chris with the odd winner just uh, lately. Jade Hampson uh, takes them out here and uh, two seconds and a third, his last three meant for Mars. You have to include him in your multiples. In the first, my numbers are one, two and seven. The second is the feature, the Anzac Day Handicap. It's the uh, benchmark uh, event. It's over the 1,200 metres and a field of five to go around, as we mentioned earlier. My numbers here are three, four and one. Hamlet von Snitzel. It's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, Chris Pollard trains and Wayne Davis rides. Only had the one start in Darwin, formerly trained in Queensland, but um, its first up run here was really good. Finished a close-up third behind Desert Dreamer. Uh, hadn't had a trial prior to that, so second up here should be improved for that first up run. It's drawn the outside of the five, but um, at the 1200 gets a decent enough run down the back uh, straight before the first turn. So I thought Hamlet von Snitzel can uh, put its foot right on the till here, number three. To beat number four, Swing with Junior, racing really well for Chloe Baxter, has won uh, two of her last three, this uh, six-year-old mare. Uh, Emma Lyons in the saddle. Emma rode uh, uh, when the horse won three starts ago, and then Jay Doyle, uh, the visiting South Australian, uh, took them out when uh, she was a very game and tough winner last time out. That was on the 12th of April. She'll race well again. And in for third, number one, C. Arkham. Still probably on the short side for him, uh, this 1,200. He was uh, second the other day, over 1,100. Uh, Gary Clark stepping him up 100 metres in trip, which will help him. And uh, Aaron Sweeney takes them out uh, this week. Jared Todd rode recently uh, when he was uh, second, as we mentioned, behind Desert Dreamer. So my numbers in the second are three, four and one. The third's the Light Horse Brigade Handicap, uh, this for the Benchmark 54 gallopers and this over the 1,200 metres. Numbers here, two, six and five. Looks one of the better bets of the day to me. Number two, Captain George from the Gary Clark Stable. Jay Todd in the saddle again. He was second uh, here behind Swing with Junior last time out. Only just beaten, loomed up to win the race and uh, Swing with Junior just found a little uh, reserve of energy to repel Captain George, but um, he's dropping back in grade. That was a zero to 70. He's way back to the benchmark 54. Only has to put his best foot forward here and he should be winning number two. Ahead of number six, Turnstar, uh, full cold trains, Emma Lyons aboard. Last start fourth behind Bart's Bullet. That was over 1,300, dropping back in trip. Another who um, has uh, a, an opportunity in a race of this nature. And in for third, number five, Kirikat. Has a uh, propensity to miss the jump, unfortunately, Kirikat. Uh, missed it again last time behind Spaceship. Uh, and finish sixth on that occasion. If it jumps away with them, Jade Hampson takes them out for Jason Manning, has the ability to finish in the money. Numbers in the third are two, six and five. The fourth, the Thank You Defence Personnel Handicap. What a great job they do in protecting our borders here in uh, this country of Australia. Uh, this is 0 to 58 over the 1100 metres. My numbers here are one, four and two. 
That combination again, Gary Clark and Jared Todd with number one, Yurumba. Uh, hasn't raced since the 1st of March. Uh, that was its first up run, hadn't raced since August. Um, Yarumba was a little disappointing, I thought, last time out behind the very impressive forms of fear. But its campaign uh, last uh, season was very good, or last year, and only has to get back to that form will be very hard to beat here. Number one, Yarumba. To beat number four, a newcomer, Canada Bay, trained by uh, Tommy Logan. Sonia in the saddle here. Four-year-old uh, Mia by Vancouver. Last started at Newcastle on the 10th of February. Has some decent form to recommend. Uh, a second at uh, Newcastle, a third at Bathurst uh, in its last uh, few starts. So watch for Canada Bay to go a bowl one uh, first up on the track. And in for third, number two, Sweet Chevelle. First up from a break, hasn't raced since the 8th of December. Joe Banks trains. Aaron Sweeney aboard. Uh, this is probably short of uh, Sweet Chevelle's best, but that said, has won twice at the trip um, when uh, he was a younger horse, uh, and that's from seven starts. Numbers in the fourth are one, four, and two. And we go to the last, it's the Lest We Forget handicap over the 1600 metres for the 0 to 64 gallopers, and my numbers here are two, four, and three. Well, he won last week over 1,300 metres. The step up to a mile shouldn't worry him, so I've got him on top again. Number two, New Enterprise, trained by Peter Stennett. He's an iron horse. He never goes a bad race. He's had about 14 runs this campaign, just continues to uh, uh, perform. Vanessa Arnott getting on pretty well with him. She rode him uh, last week. She's on again. So I thought there's no reason why he can't be very hard to beat again. Number two, New Enterprise. Ahead of the obvious danger, number four, Rising Fire. Jason Manning trains, Wayne Davis aboard. Um, he's very consistent. He has yet to win a race in Darwin, would you believe this horse? He's had a number of placings and his last uh, five runs here, three seconds, a third and a fourth. His most recent uh, placing was behind the Stiffmeister here when third on the 16th of March. So he's got to be very hard to beat uh, for Wayne Davis. And my third selection, number three, Bart's Bullet, the last start winner. He won one of the legs of the Apprentice Series here on the 12th of April in the hands of uh, the uh, West Australian Rosie Marnie. Uh, and uh, Jade Hampson takes them out this time. Numbers in the last are two, four and three. Best bet on the days in race three, number two, Captain George. I think uh, back in grade, this should be a race uh, right within his scope. Race three, number two, Captain George. Well, the best roughies in the same race, uh, unusually. Uh, race three, number five, Kiracat. Race three, number five, Kiracat. I just hope he jumps away for his um, connections in the punters, because if he does, I think he'll be right in the finish. Well, that wraps up this edition of Top End Track Talk. Um, we'll be back again in a fortnight's time, or just over a fortnight, to preview our next meeting here in Darwin. That will be Saturday the 11th of May and until then good luck uh, all the best for Anzac Day and good punting.